Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to Simon's Cat Logic. We'll be finding out from a cat expert why cats behave the way they do. Today, we're going to look at body language. Well, I've created this big fat lovable cat who of course can't talk. So if I want to show any emotion or how he's feeling, I have to do it through body language. And cats are fantastic at body language and so it makes them fantastic for animation. So you can look at a picture of a cat or an animation of a cat and understand exactly what that cat's feeling without using any words. So to draw an angry cat, I'd start with two angry looking eyes and then his ears would be back. Give him some little ruffled fur because he's really not he's really not happy at all. He's kind of sitting on his haunches a bit. He's waggling his tail. He's not very happy at all. Well, Simon's cat is such a simple design. He's basically like a big fat bean, really, with, he hasn't got any whiskers or anything, so there's not a lot to work with. By just doing a few little simple body language things, like having a little tilted ear, or a slightly puffed up tail, that I can get over a lot of emotion in the drawing. With Simon's cat, there's no talking, it's, it's all about body language. Cat body language is an area that's absolutely fascinating. However, Cats are really subtle as a species, much more so than social species like ourselves and dogs, and therefore it means they can be quite difficult to really read as to how they're feeling. What's important is to look at facial expression and body language, particularly in the context, so we can understand what's going on. So, if we look at Nigel here, he's looking rather relaxed. What it means when a cat shows their belly is that it's actually a greeting behaviour. This is because they're showing the most vulnerable part of their tummy and it's a sign of trust. One of the things that many people mistake when a cat rolls over and shows their tummy is that they think it's an invitation to have it touched. Now unfortunately, most cats don't actually like their tummies being touched and they may find that they get grabbed or bitten by the cat. <coughs> cats can use their tails to express a variety of different emotions. For example, if the tip of the tail is slowly moving and flicking like this, it can mean that they're agitated or something's irritated them. If the tail is moving sort of slowly side to side, and particularly if it's at mid-height, this can indicate that they're feeling indecisive. If a cat is having its tail up high like this, but also curved at the tip, it can be a greeting behaviour. You'll see this both from cats towards other cats, but also cats will greet people like this too. Cats can also express themselves using their ear position. Cats that are feeling nice and relaxed will have their ears facing forwards in a relaxed posture. If we look at Nigel, his ears are quite alert and he's listening into his surroundings. And he's, like I say, he's certainly very aware of what's going on. When cats are actually scared, they will move their ears both to the sides and sometimes back. If they put their ears completely flat back on their head, this is not only indicating that they feel extremely threatened, but also that they are trying to protect their ears from injury. There are lots of different ways in which cats can use their eyes to show different types of emotions, from slow blinking to having dilated pupils, and also whether their eyes are half closed or actually in a squinty position. Slow blinking is where a cat slowly opens and closes their eyes, so a slow blink like this. And it's a sign that they're feeling relaxed and calm in the person's presence. They can also do it towards other cats. What's really exciting is if you slow blink a cat, so slowly opening and closing your eyes, and seeing if they do it back. Cats which are feeling stressed or insecure or nervous will often have dilated pupils. This is to gain as much information about their environment as possible. However, Cats may also have dilated pupils if they are excited or they're in hunting mode, for example. If you notice your cat has dilated pupils, it's important to take its body language as well as the context into account to figure out how your cat is feeling. If the cat is resting or feeling relaxed, they will often have their eyes half closed. 
However, this is very subtly different to if the cat is in pain, well, they'll have more of a sort of a squinty eye posture. If you're concerned that your cat may well be in pain, we'd recommend taking them to the vets for a health check. So by taking into account facial expression, body posture, and the context, we can really start to understand cat behavior and have a much more positive relationship with our cat. Well, I think a lot of the charm of Simon's cat comes from all the realistic sort of body language and the little nuances and mannerisms that the cat does that I've kind of learned from having lots of cats all my life. But occasionally I, I tend to push, push it a little bit and have him do things like meow, point to his mouth when he's hungry and pick up a baseball bat. And I think that really brings out the humour of Simon's cat because that's what cats would do if they could, I think. Mm-hmm. Huh? 